guys and welcome to the video today we're gonna be doing a big freezer cooking stuff I'm gonna fill up my freezer and then I'm gonna fill up my grandmother's freezer so let's go ahead and jump in and I'm gonna show you everything we're gonna make so I've started on chicken fried rice I put one and a half teaspoons of sesame oil and one and a half teaspoons of vegetable oil typically I'd use canola but all I have is vegetable that's what we're doing and I'm cooking about a pound of chicken down maybe a pound so that's what I'm doing and then I've got four thirds cup of rice going on brown rice going on in here to cook salt and peppered my chicken cooked it up it's cooked I'm putting it on this fall to do the rest of the recipe typically you need green onion I forgot to get green onion which is fine you need frozen peas and carrots just in the bag at the grocery store my grocery store didn't have that, so I got a can of sweet peas and carrots, and I'm going to drain that and only use about half the can. Another one and a half teaspoons of sesame oil and another one and a half teaspoons of vegetable oil. Now I'm going to add in my garlic, and I'm going to add in my peas and carrots. Like I said, all I have at the moment is canned, so that's going to have to work. I just don't cook these as long because they can start to melt down into a soup. I remember doing that years ago. And that was like the first cooking lesson that I honestly learned. And I'm just going to add, typically you want fresh garlic, but all I have is um, this garlic, so that's what I'm using. I've sauteed those. I push them to the side. I'm going to crack three eggs and scramble them until they're set. Once this is, this is pretty much set. I just want it to be a little firmer. Once I do that, I'm gonna add my chicken back in and mix all this together. I'm gonna add soy sauce to taste. This is, I need to open it. I'm not going to do too much of it. I think this is enough. If it's not enough, we can always add more. I'm going to add a little bit more salt and pepper, and then I'm going to add in that rice. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the pans that I have. Separate them into two pans if that'll work. And then I'm going to wait to seal them, and we're going to start on the next meal. We're going to work on homemade KFC bowls and stuffed shells. The KFC bowls, I'm just bringing water and butter to a bowl. Just use, when you do instant mashed potatoes like this, that's what we're using. Just go off the directions on the back of your box for whatever size you want. I'm doing six cups. I may end up doing more. And then I'm going to put water in this pan and we're going to bring pasta to a bowl. I used the whole first six cup serving of the potatoes for this pan. I'm doing one more six cup serving for my pan. Um, I think I told y'all I'm doing frozen dinners like Throw them, make them, throw them in the freezer for my grandparents because my grandmother is really sick. So just something easy for my grandpa to have just to throw in the oven. So I'm working on the next pan of mashed potatoes for us. Um, and then we'll put the rest of this together. I'm still boiling the noodles. Pasta to, for the stuffed shells. Uh, this has been cleaned out. That's why it's making that noise. I'm gonna start my ground beef and then I'll show you what to do after that. Finishing up the stuffed shells. All this is is pasta noodles. I do the shells, ground beef about a pound, and then I use ragu. And I like to do it this way with the shells. It's different than spaghetti because I do like a garden ragu sauce. And then it fills up the shell with the meat and the sauce. It's really good. So this can go in the freezer as well. And I just finished the potatoes, so I'm going to show you the rest of that. I'm simmering a little bit of brown gravy. I just do like the little 40 cent packages at Walmart. This is going to go to the KFC bowls. That's simmering for a few seconds. I'm taking these Tyson Anytizer chicken fries. I'm not going to use the whole bag. I'm just going to kind of cover the top a little bit. 
take these, I'm gonna cut them in half and just put them all over the top. I placed the chicken fries on top and then I poured the brown gravy over. I did that to both pans. And then I'm just gonna top it with cheese and that's it. Add corn into the KFC bowls because they do come with corn in them, but I'm not doing that for those recipes. There are the stuffed shells, that's what I call it, in their pans. So we're gonna go ahead and seal these up. There's the chicken fried rice. I just slipped these pans into these gallon freezer bags and I take the air out right before I finish closing it and I just wrote on there the day it was made, June 12th, and chicken fried rice and how to make it. So just put it in the oven on 350 for 10 minutes to let it heat through. And th these are good for about three to four months in the freezer. Shells are pretty much the same. I just put them a little lower for five to 10 minutes just to heat through because you don't want your noodles to get tough. I'm letting them cool and then I'll seal those up. And then the KFC bowls, I do 350 to 20, 25 minutes just because you want those chicken fries to cook all the way through since you're not pre-cooking them. So I think all that I'm gonna do for the rest of the night, I might end up making a few more meals tomorrow. If I do, I'll definitely get back on camera and show you. If you enjoyed this, please let me know and I'll start doing more often freezer meals for y'all to kind of help y'all out. These will be so helpful. We've only got three thrown in the freezer right now because I made three for me, three for my grandmother. But you could easily have six of these in your freezer if you're not giving them to somebody else. Um, and they're so helpful just to take two hours out of a weekend, make six or seven meals, throw them in the freezer when you get home from work. Just turn your oven on and throw them in and you've got dinner. Instead of having to worry about take meat out, cook and everything else, you just throw it in the freezer and it's in the oven and it's done. Um, so let me know if you enjoyed this. But the last things I'm going to make, I'm not going to show on camera just because they're box things. I'm gonna do some chocolate chip muffins. I might do a bread with that, chocolate chip bread. If you want my recipe on that, let me know. It's pretty simple. It's pretty much muffins just in a pan and they're so gooey. They turn out different than muffins. I'll just do a little underdone on them. And then we picked this up at Walmart a month or two ago and it's the Pillsbury Stuff Cookie Kit in the raspberry filled chocolate and I'm wanting something sweet. So I think that's what we're gonna make. This will just be really helpful the next two or three mornings to have something quick for breakfast. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see this more often. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.